In this video, we'll quickly demonstrate how to activate and deactivate skinning for a cross section. Now, in this case, I've modified a fuselage component and I've set these cross sections so that there's a point, a circle, another circle, and then here at the back, another point. So what I've done is I've basically made a cylinder with a diameter of five feet. Under the skinning tab, you can see that I've turned on all symmetric, but I've deselected set on both sides so now it's automatically solving whatever angles and strengths that it needs to go from a point to a circle to a circle and back down to a point. So we see cross section one is there, zero, minus 90 on the other side, and minus 90 at that point to solve everything. So if I were to come back and start adjusting some of these cross section locations, say here, come back to skinning, notice that it's automatically solving the angles that it needs to make this happen. If we want to adjust those or turn control back on, simply click set, and now we can adjust these angles how we want. Back here, the point that opens this component is still under no control whatsoever. If we choose, we can turn this back on. Notice how we can adjust these angles and it's maintaining all symmetry. Turn it back off, come back here, turn it back off, and it snaps back to a point. So if you're looking for something that has no skinning control or you want a direct linear loft between one cross section to another, you are welcome to deactivate skinning entirely. And that's the way that you can accomplish that. So in this case, if you wanna make something like a pipe, a cylinder, even say a hollow tube, you can turn skinning off completely, place your cross sections where you need them, and you'll have a very simple but easily modifiable component.